we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dreams. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hello, Cancer. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's go ahead and get into it, Cancer. Thank you, God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, Cancer, I want to shout out to all my Cancers out there who are in New York, L.A., Chicago, Dallas, London, Houston, Atlanta, and Philadelphia because I have high viewership in those, in those cities. So thank you. And if you are viewing from those cities, go ahead and comment below. Um, let's go ahead and jump into this, Cancer. This is going to be... I think an interesting one. A lot of um, a lot of all men showing up on the card. So I'm going to just go out on a on a limb here and say it's either same sex um, men relationship or this this is about a particular cancer man. So or somebody could be in their masculine energy if you are feminine, if you're a woman. Somebody's in their masculine energy here. It looks like somebody's trying to figure out how this could even have something to do with work, how to figure out how to make more money at work, what they can do, maybe passive income, what they can do to bring in more money, how to take care of, I don't know if this is somebody's thinking in regards to the future, how will I take care of? This is somebody learning to, somebody's in deep thought, contemplation about what to do next. Somebody feels like some, yeah, work could have a lot of restriction, okay? A lot of limitation, limitation there where you can't really do the job how you want to do it. Uh, a heavy task master or a manager or something of that nature. Uh, somebody who micromanages, uh, knit pits, knit picks about everything just you know nothing is right or you can't do this right or if you fix one thing you gotta fix five others you know five other things it's just um it's becoming a bit too much to the point where you know um, you're thinking about the next chapter the next phase yeah you're thinking about maybe starting your own thing how can you be your own merchant you could even think about going into merchant services or maybe you're into that um you're thinking about how you can um where you can put your money or what you should invest your money in um you could be dealing with somebody especially at work who like flies off the handle it's a lot of mood swings um they make you frustrated or it's a lot of frustration going on Let's see what is going on here for cancer. Yeah, the ten of swords. It's like 
the universe is telling you something is over. It's done. I mean, you could continue to stay in it, but it's done. You don't have to be there anymore. You need to, yeah, launder a new plan, you know, in regards to the future. Like, this situation is it, completed. You know, doing whatever it is you do. This looks like somebody who works long hours. They do a lot at work. They may be the one who is accountable. This could be that you're in a managerial type of uh, position. Um, a lot of weight falls on your shoulders. Um, doing this heavy, you know, taxing, volatile, you know, up and down type of work is, you know, is done. The universe is saying it's completed. You know, it's about you walking out of it, leaving it, leaving it alone. This could even be a relationship also. King of Cups. Yeah. So you may deal with a lot of people. So with the King of Cups, it could be you, Cancer. Um, you deal with a lot of different personalities. You know, you got to, and you also wear a lot of different hats. Right now, you're very business focused. Um, business matters. Or that's what the King of Cups is focused on. Maybe doing a creative project or creativity. Um, you're also just thinking about ways. Some of you could be in school. Okay, or thinking about ways you can bring in more money. What can you do? You get a little frustrated though. Yeah, thinking about ways, pay the swords, how to, uh, you know, bring more money into the equation, make more money, uh, passive income, um, seven of cups, fiduciary. Like, I don't know if you're going to look at some of your portfolio, seven of cups, yeah, fantasizing about making more money making more money a lot of wishful thinking but not enough action being taken um a lot of sleeping overindulging drinking partying um gambling maybe even with your time i don't know with your body this could even be promiscuity um a lot of uh promises that you make yourself but you're not making you know you're not coming through on them not following through yeah the universe is calling judgment here like look you say you want this, but then you do another thing. The universe wants you to get clear on what it is you want so that they can help you get to that goal. It says that you might need to incorporate something from the past now back into the present, right? It also says that um, forgive yourself for past mistake, past mishap, uh, for the, for, um, this could even be like, squandering money or just not doing right with money or doing right with your time values you're pr not prioritizing yourself or your time yeah yeah okay so the tower here is like you got to you've been here before you've been in this place before where there's been like breakdown or you want to just break out or break free or um you feel like you're in a prison here you know, sudden upheaval, sudden changes. Um, yeah, the Eight of Cups, it's like suddenly you want to walk away. Or you feel like you need to walk away. You feel like, you know, you kind of checked out in terms of your emotions with your work or a relationship. It's like you're just despondent. You just don't care anymore. This could even be a relationship where you're dealing with somebody who is just frivolous with their time, their money. They may even count on you or depend on you to be the stable one, to be the rock. You may have to come up with different ideas of how to make more money to pay for their bills or pay for pay their way. Um, you may even have to move all of a sudden getting kicked out or moving um, or making a move. Oh, this could even be job loss with the tower and the eight of cups here. This could be wandering. OK, so a lot of wandering and, an, and not enough action. You could be on some soul journey. Yeah, the three of swords departing separating divorcing queen of cups this could even be you know you wanting to reconcile with someone um or at least have a conversation you don't like that there's very little to no communication um you don't like that there's alienation isolation somebody's isolated themselves from you or vice versa you've done this in regards to someone else you also could have done this because somebody is not walking away or not divorcing not um, you know, uh, doing the right thing here. What else do we have for cancer here? The Ten of Wands. So you get the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands. You could be seeing Ten Ten. It could be significant for you. It's about, look, something is completed. You keep staying in it. The universe is like, it's your life. We're just here to assist, okay? Um, 
you can walk out of this. You don't have to do this backbreaking, taxing, hard labor, um, time consuming work where you are like um, made this the scapegoat where you uh, heard you don't know what time you're going to get off every single night or every other night or something like that um, to where you, you're uh, you're working very hard. You're like on autopilot. You can let this go. You don't have to do this anymore. Um, yeah, the perfect timing to institute change, to get your life in order. Somebody could be drinking a lot or somebody needs to moderate their drinking. So you need to cut down on it. Um, what else is going on here? It's perfect timing for you to bring in something from the past. You have five of wands for you to start something new. Throw your hat in the ring. Be up for the challenge of starting something new. Okay. Get your affairs in order. It, it may be competition wherever you're going. Um, you're tired of fighting. Also, it says you maybe you even might be tired of mitigating fights, getting in the middle of fights and arguments. Um, it's becoming a little bit cumbersome. Or, yeah, seven of wands, five and seven of wands here. So it's like the universe trying to tell you something. Listen to your intuition. You have a higher understanding that something is over or you need to do something really quickly. You need to get in front of something. You need to be proactive with the seven of wands. I don't know if somebody's planning on firing. Yeah, firing you or there could, once again, job loss. Yeah, secret, the high priestess. Some of you are really trying to get the affection, the time, the attention of someone who's just not paying you any attention. This is someone who's not focused on you or vice versa this is you you're not focused on this person who's trying to get your attention trying to get you pull you back into the fight maybe even get you back into a relationship where um you know they they want you to come and play come out and play there's somebody who's already married couple you know what they want you to do is come out and play and they want you to choose them they want you to uh, status quo like it used to be with the five of wands here they want it to be like it used to be we used to have fun we used to hang out we do what we do somebody wants that to come back fast in their life this could even be escapism somebody wants somebody could even be like engaging in relationships to escape maybe um, a very very taxing job a very hard job it is taxing on the brain in in the time you know it's like you're always there it's just like somebody's trying to figure out ways of how to bring oh how to bring somebody else back from the past like bring them back into their life now because this person and this could be you cancer um this the high priestess is not concerned about anybody but herself she has intuitive nudges that somebody wants her or wants to be around her be with her or wants to have sex with her uh, whatever but she's not concerned you know she's not concerned with that she's in the spiritual realm she is getting a lot of downloads she is under mentorship and cultivating her talents and her gifts and this guy is in the world the emperor he is um focused on uh worldly things self having it you know having a possession of but you don't you don't ever really possess this type of woman because she she'll leave um she won't even stay she won't even come this is why we got this all these cards of somebody being in contemplation how do i get this person back in my life how do i get them back to be pisces aquarius um, Aries, it could be anybody, uh, Scorpio, Libra, Scorpio again, Aquarius, uh, age of Aquarius, somebody's trying to awaken also, come out of the slumber of, you know, just not taking control of their life, knowing that a decision needs to be made, you need to cut something out, cut it away, stop dealing with it, be done with it, start something new, launder a new plan to success whatever it may be so, so it's, it's just like somebody is like um how do i get this person back 
but your your all of your thoughts, all of your energy should be really going to how do I change my life? Because then if you do that, this person might come back. This is what I have for you, Cancer. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by buying me a coffee. Click the click the link of buy Ella coffee if you're feeling moved to do so and if you're a business-minded individual and you want to be around other business-minded individuals you can sign up for the KTMG keep the momentum going conference call that is held monthly where we talk about business matters how to start your own business maintain your business and grow your business okay or you could get on a, a complimentary discovery call with me and we can talk about where you are in terms of business and where you need to be. All right. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care. All links are below.